Welcome to the NASCAR Kumon Cup Series Season 5, Race 6, the Geico 500 at Talladega Super Speedway. Here is your starting lineup. Here are your race details. 10 laps. Jimmy Johnson is on the pole, and a new package being run with less speed, the Ford Daytona. This, we have a new play package. Ford is here. Green flag is out. Johnson leads them. Byron gets forced out of line right away. And Newman's is going to duck to the inside and leave Johnson out the drive now. A whole train of Fords leading up at the front right now. As now Logano and Koslowski are going to look to the inside with Ryan Blaney. And here comes Eric Almarola trying to make the inside line work. On board with Ryan Blaney, he's going to get a pass by Ryan Newman on the outside. Keslowski under pressure from Newman now on the outside. As they're going to come across the line, Joey Logano is going to lead that lap. Newman's going to look on the outside. Keslowski. Oh, Stanos gets it to Newman and that gets Keslowski into him. And we have a big crash. The big one that's happened here at Talladega. A ton of cars involved in this one. Newman, Keslowski, Boyer. Larson, Johnson, Hamlin's gone to the garage. Tons of cars involved in this one. At least 12 to 15 cars, I think, involved in this one. You see here, Stanis gets into Newman. Kislowski just drives right into Newman. Johnson is in it. Boyer gets hit. Larson involved in this one as well. Kyle Busch picks up some damage. Eric Jones gets into the grass. Just before it sells up onto the pavement. Bubba Wallace gets turned by Matthew Benedetto. In the inside wall. Manadeo has some damage as well. So Bubba Wallace. Turn around the back of the pack. Eric Jones is out. Jimmy Johnson. Our pole sitter. Austin Dillon. Kyle Larson. Who's had a horrendous season so far. Koslowski. Never lifted. And he spun Newman out. Clint Boyer. Has too much damage. He's going to go to the garage. Hamlin is in it. Bowman Bernard to Benedetto. Will start at the rear. After getting these repairs. Restart will be on lap 5. We are back racing. Logano and the Senos will lead them off the line. And now Senos is going to try and take the lead. Here comes the third lane. Senos stuck in the middle. He gets turned by Logano into Elliott. Pernamo is in a lot in with heavy damage as well. Another caution is out. Multiple cars involved in this accident. Nick Pernamo went for a wild spin. He should be able to continue though. See your Senos comes to Logano. Logano's already there. Senos gets a little bit airborne as well. Roof flaps didn't really deploy for a while there. Elliot gets into Pertimo. Line is involved as well. He tags Elliot. Pretty good. So, Stenhouse out of this one, along with Chase Elliot. And Jack Lawton is another victim in this one. The restart will now go on lap 7. We have four laps to go. Two Stuart Oscars leading him off the line. Eric Calmarola and Daniel Suarez lead the pack now. Here comes Kyle Busch as the... Group leaves Suarez out to dry. Suarez is back and forth. Here comes Kurt Busch for the lead. Contact between Almirola and Kyle Busch. Suarez now back up to second. On board with him. Is he going to try and pass Kurt Busch? Not quite there this time. Truex looking on the inside too. So he's got to be careful. Oh, he gets into Kurt Busch. And, and now Truex is going to look for the lead. Suarez leads that lap. Two laps to go. On board with Martin Truex Jr. As Eric Calmarol is going to be looking. And now, their cars all over the place. Lagano's going to look to the inside here. Oh, car in the wall. Matt Benedetto. We stay green. Lagano comes to the white flag. Behind Suarez. And he turns Suarez into the inside wall. A big crash for Daniel Suarez. Caution is out. The race is over. Joey Lagano is your winner here at Talladega. Lagano's going to burn it down. Let's get a replay, though, of this accident. Yeah, Lagano just gets right into Suarez. Just sends him hard into the inside wall. 
Let's get our race results here. Lagana wins. Blaney and Almirola make it three fourths in the top three. Kyle Busch fourth. Ty Dillon a fantastic fifth. Ryan Priest gets the top ten out of all that. Daniel Hemrick eleventh. Cameron Jordan fifteenth in his last race for the season before heading over to wheel to James Winner at number forty car. Kurt Busch back in twenty first. Alex Bowman was twentieth. Matt Benedetto finished last after getting into the wall there, and all these guys have. That are out. Suarez and a whole list of other guys here. Most of these guys are cop in the big one on lap three. Now, for your point standings. So now Kyle Bush is at the top of the chart by 13 points over both Chase Elliott and Martin Trix Jr. Legano jumps up to fourth 11 points out of Bowman. The wild cards are now Eric Jones and Kevin Harvick. Both have wins so far this season. Logan Drilling and Axel Rich are tied. For 13th, just one point outside of that playoff cutoff. Uh, Ty Dillon's doing a good job this season so far. He's 21st. That bounce really tight there. Kyle Larson is 37th. I believe he's had like three or four DNFs so far this season. Matt Mandel's also had a terrible start this season as well. But Murray back there in 38th with that one win. He got Daytona, only that one race. A lot of stuff going on. So the All-Star Open and race will be soon at two different venues, followed by the Coke 600. So that will be next on the schedule.